it feels wonderful to, <laughs> to be in a place like this. I think they're remarkably special places. And a large part of that for me personally is just the aesthetic of the place, how it feels to walk in it. They, it's refreshing. Uh, to be truthful, it's soothing on the soul. So we're in the very west of Scotland. Um, we experience very wet conditions, very high rainfall, which creates a lovely humid atmosphere within the forest and you have these dense, dense patches of bryophytes, mosses growing on the trees, on the ground, and it's, it's part of the sort of Atlantic um, woodland that stretches from the north of Scotland right to the, the southwest of England. At the bottom of Llenach is Cainant Llenach, the, the gorge of the Avon Prysor, and that is a moist, humid environment where species of moss and liverwort have managed to cling on where they've been lost from the wider landscape. These valleys on Dartmoor are often referred to as refugia because they are likely to be the sorts of places where some important lower plant assemblages uh, and a number of other quite important species are likely to actually be able to be sustained in a warming climate. Go in and in and in and you start looking at the detail of the wood then it's beautiful, you know, like nature is really is the best artist and the detail that you can see in some of the lower plants in particular that are there are, is really quite remarkable. It's just an amazing place to be. You feel like you sort of have a link back to our landscape as it used to be and you really feel this sort of sense of connection with nature. So the work we do is absolutely critical in ensuring that we don't lose a really important part of our ecosystem. We now need to think about the future and a lot of the species that live here are under threat from our changing climate and over the next 50 years or more those pressures will become far greater. People for as long as there have been people here will have got, I think, a similar feeling to what I get when I walk in these places. And partly why I feel privileged to be able to work in this kind of field is to try and allow a circumstance where these places are still going to be here for you know, our children and their children's children. So it's not just our, our ancestors that have walked in them and have felt as we have, it's the people coming after us too.